Hello everyone. In the last session, we discussed about the dark slip characteristics. In that, we discussed one point that is low slip region. In the low slip region, we observed that the torque and slip is proportional to each other. In this, next we will move on to the medium medium slip region. And in the medium slip region, we can't we can't tell how it varies because we can't assume that. Okay. But next we will move on to the high slip region. The third point is the high slip region. So high slip region means the slip content is high. High slip region. Okay. Here the name itself it is high high means the s x to naught square will be high very high compared with the r2 compared with the r2 then we can replace this equation like this that is torque ks into e2 square into r2 by r2 by s times of x to s square into x to naught square both will be high both will be high so this s one time will be cancelled then the torque is inversely proportional to the slip here torque is inversely proportional to the slip here so in the low slip region generally the torque is proportional to slip in the high slip region the torque is inversely proportional to the slip by using these two conditions we can draw the torque slip characteristics we can draw the torque slip characteristics before entering into torque slip characteristics first what is the relation between the slip and speed we should discuss here for example we have we have a relation that is general slip equal slip value equal ns minus nr by ns this is the slip formula generally at starting so we should take at starting speed value equal to zero generally speed value equal to zero that means what is the slip value slip value equal to ns minus zero by ns that means slip value equal to one when the speed is zero slip value is one and if the speed is maximum speed at maximum speed the maximum speed of the any rotor is only synchronous speed ns then what is the slip value ns minus ns by the ns then slip is become the zero and slip is become the zero just observe here just speed here speed is varies from zero to ns and what about the slip slip is from 1 to slip is from 1 to 0 1 to 0 this is the thing that means if the speed is increases slip value will be decreases slip value will be decreases by using that we can make the relation between the slip speed and with the torque relation so we will go to draw the torque slip characteristics in the torque slip characteristics you should take you should take the slip on the x axis because slip will be varied then we have to observe the torque we have to observe the torque so torque in y axis torque in y axis this is the torque so take a one point one point is the for example is the maximum point maximum point torque maximum and generally you should take the slip value minimum value of the slip is 0 and the maximum value of the slip value is 1 the slip value is 1 whenever it is like this the speed value at this is the speed is at starting speed value is ns and the speed value at at slip equal to maximum slip that is maximum slip is 1 that is speed value is become 0 
just you should write two things one is slip minimum and maximum values slip is always minimum value is the zero the maximum value of the slip is the one and what about the speed speed means here the rotor speed rotor speed also the minimum value is the zero and maximum value is the synchronous speed it will be rotated maximum with the synchronous speed right so here just assume this part just assume this part is the linear region low slip region just take it as a low slip region so in the low slip region what happen the slip and torque will be both are proportional so both are proportional means linear both are linear both are linear and we have it will become all in medium slip region it will be like this and and for high slip region high slip region itself it will be it will be varies so just take it it will be inversely proportional inversely proportional means it will be like this it will be like this so this region this particular region is known as the at, at this point between these two points we can name it as the slip value here if you observe between slip and torque both are in the linear mode that's why it is called the low slip region this is called the low slip region and this area for example this area you should take there is there is a some decrement is there just you can consider they can call it as medium slip this, this region is called the medium slip region the remaining region is high slip region the remaining is you can take it as the high values of slip region high slip region this is a low slip region okay just you observe here this this point is linear characteristics from this point to this point it will be linearly increases so you can name it as the you can name it as the linear characteristics so linear characteristics this is this point to this point and if you observe here this is startingly high and coming to ending point this will be low so this region is called as the rectangular hyperbola this name it as the if you look at the rectangular hyperbola 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 curve okay the most important thing here from whenever the slip and torque in the linear mode that is only the stable region that is only the stable region so we can name it as the it, it is only the stable region that means it should be operated only between these slips between these slip the remaining part of the torque slip characteristics is called as the unstable region this complete region we can name it as the unstable region once again look at here wherever the slip slip versus torque are in linear curve that is called as stable operation in the stable mode wherever slip and torque is inversely proportional that is called the unstable region unstable region okay generally we can name it as always slip is increases from 0 to 1 and speed is in the reverse direction speed is in the reverse direction so speed is in the reverse direction yeah so that's why always 
any machine any machine you can give one point that is any machine should operate in stable region should operate in stable region so that's why we can give some conclusion that the three phase induction motor induction motor is is stable is stable when it is operated at when it is operated in low slip region operated in the low slip region when it is operated in the low slip region and we can give another point same point the three phase induction motor is unstable unstable so when it is operated in high slip region when it is operated in high slip region so always better to operate in this characteristics in this characteristics means so we already discuss slip of induction motor we tell that 2% to 8% only 2% to 8% what is the meaning 0.02 0.08 why it is because this is the low values low slip values in the low slip values only it is stable mode if the slip value is high it is in unstable mode it is in unstable mode okay so these are about the torque slip characteristics of the torque slip characteristics of the three phase induction motor Okay, I hope all of you understand this session. Thank you.